이제 일반 사람들은 잘 모르고 있는 겁니다. This is something that the average individual does not know about. 네, 이걸 잘 알아야 다른 걸 이해하는데 두 종류 사람이 있어요. But we need to be aware of this for us to understand other things. There are two types of people. 네, 빌림 사람. People belonging to the Nephilim. 이 반대로 성령의 사람. And conversely, people of the Holy Spirit. 자, 이런 부분들을 어, 불신자들이 도저히 이해를 못 하는 겁니다. And these are things that unbelievers simply cannot understand. 심지어 어, 교회 다니는 사람도 이해를 못 해요. And actually, even churchgoers don't understand this either. 자, 이 말을 모르면 많은 걸 해석을 못 합니다. But if you don't understand these words, then you cannot interpret many different things. Why is it that people go and seek the counsel of shamans and power is manifested? Because there are people belonging to the Nephilim. Why do hardships ensue? People of the Nephilim. The shamans are partaking in this, but they're completely oblivious to it. 네피림이란 말은 한마디로 신들렸다 이 말이에요. And nephilim simply means that you are filled with that evil spirit. 네, 무속인 이 말도 돼요. In other words, shamans themselves. 또 그, 그렇게까지 안 가더라도 나도 모르게 여기 잡혀 있는 거예요. But even if you don't go so far as that, unbeknownst to you, you are seized inside of this. 어, 이런 것들을 어, 세상에서 선생님들도 모르잖아요. And we see that the educators and teachers of the world don't even know this either. 자기인데 어려움 와도 몰라요. And hardships come their way, but they don't know. 이게 모든 해석이 여기서 다 나온 말이거든요. And all interpretations, all the things that we understand, come from this. 아니 어떤 사람 물어봅니다. 기운도 하면 어떻게 됩니까? 물어봐요. And some people ask, what will happen if I take part in the key or energy movement? 어 기운도 하다가 정신 돌아온 사람이 있는데 어떻게 됩니까? 물어. And there are some people who have lost their minds while they're participating in this energy movement. What should they do? But it goes beyond that. The essential question is, do you belong to the Nephilim or to the Holy Spirit? Some people say, Pastor, somebody went up to the mountaintop to pray and then they lost their mind there. No. Most accurately, it's a question of whether you belong to the Nephilim or to the Holy Spirit. 여러분들이 꼭 기억하셔야 됩니다. That's why you must remember this. 아이들이 커올 때도 어딘가에 영향을 받습니다. And as young children grow up, they are influenced by either one or the other. 근데 어, 어떤 아이는 이쪽에 굉장한 그 집착돼 있는 사람을 만났단 말이에요. And let's say that this child meets with somebody who is very fixated, obsessed with this nephilim. 그러면요, 평생 동안 쉽게 이렇게 돼요. Then all their life long, it becomes very easy for them to succumb to this. 자, 이 부분들을 여러분이 이해 못 한다면은 사실은 신앙생활이 어렵습니다. And now, if you don't understand this, in fact, your walk of faith itself will become very difficult. 그리고 병든 자 고치지도 못합니다. And we will not be able to help those and heal those who are sick. 이제 놀라울게도 여기에 사람이 But astoundingly enough, we see that 99% of the people belong to the Nephilim. 여기에 속한 사람은 여러분 중에 있는데 1%밖에 안 돼요. And those belong to the Holy Spirit, they're amongst you. It's only 1% of the population. 그러면 교회 다니는 사람이 과연 또 이렇게 돼 있냐? 아니거든요. Then does this guarantee that all the church goers belong to the Holy Spirit? That's not necessarily the case. And what should we do? 계속 어려운 거요 살아가는 중에. Then you continue to experience it in your hardship. So you live your walk of faith and yet you continue to experience these difficulties. Why? Because you do not belong to the Nephilim and yet you are heavily influenced by it. You belong to the Holy Spirit and yet you are not influenced by the Holy Spirit. 그러면 지금은 괜찮지만 앞으로 어떻게 되겠죠? Then things may be seem all fine and well now, but what will happen going forward? 그 언젠가는 또뭔 일이 생기면 해석도 못해요. 
The time will come when something will occur, and you will not even be able to interpret that. 알아들으셨죠? Do you understand? 여러분 이것만 알아도 많은 사람을 도와줄 수 있습니다. Even if you simply understand this, you will be able to help countless multitudes of people. 어, 똑같은 건데 어, 목사님 어떤 사람은요, 뭐, 뭐 호흡하다가 이상하게 됐다는 게그 말이 아니고 여기에 속한 사람. It's the same sort of question. People say, Pastor, some people are doing the breathing technique and the breathing movement, and they lost their minds. No, it's whether they belong to this or the other. Then, for example, you were heavily influenced by the Nephilim. That's why power is manifested, and all of a sudden, then problems come. But what will happen if you're heavily influenced by the Holy Spirit instead? From that point on, evidence began to come out. 눈에 안 보이게 이렇게 된 사람이 사회생활한다 다르죠. And if people who are influenced by the Holy Spirit live their walk of faith, or they they live in their social lives into society, it's different. 이렇게 된 사람들이 성교지에 많이 있다. And if there are a lot of people like this in the missions field, that field began to change. 자 여기에 대표적인 인물로 설명된 사람이 알아들은 사람이 노아입니다. Representative individual of this, somebody who understood these words, was Noah. 그러니 이 오늘 생각에 들어온 네피림 이 창세기 6장이죠. 이 사건은 지금도 일어나고 있습니다. And this week's district message is about the Nephilim, the Genesis 6 incident. This is happening even now. 그렇다면 나의 24시는 어떻게 돼야 되느냐 하는 거죠. Then inside of this context, how must I live my 24 hours? 오늘 방주를 만들어라 그랬습니다. In today's scripture reading, it says to build the ark. 자 이렇다고 볼때 굉장한 얘기요. And if you look at it from this context, Genesis 6.14 is not just your average words. 여러분의 학업은 방주를 만드는 것이다. Because your academics and studies, that's you building your ark. 그러면 승리합니다. And through that, you can triumph. 여러분의 사업은 방주를 만드는 것이다. Your business is the act of building the ark. 그러면 반드시 승리합니다. And with that, you will absolutely be victorious. 여러분의 모든 인생은 방주를 만드는 것이다. Your life in its entirety is you building the ark. 그렇게 보면 됩니다. You just need to perceive it that way. 그래서 먼저 살펴봐야 될게 있죠. And that's why there is something we must see in advance. 일반 사람들은 모릅니다. 성경에만 있습니다. This is something that the ordinary individual does not know, but it's only recorded in the Bible. 이 네피림이란 말은 가장 쉽게 말하면 나도 모르게 사단에게 잡혀 있다 이 말이에요. What is Nephilim? Simply put, it's me being seized by Satan, unbeknownst to me. 어그 불신자들 어려움 생기면 점치러 가고 당연하지요. 잡혀 있으니까. Unbelievers encounter difficulties, and of course they go to seek the advice of fortune tellers. Of course, why? Because they they are seized. 제사 안 지내면 문제 와. 당연하지요. If they don't give ancestral rights, they'll face problems. Why? Because of this. 어 사업하는데도 고사 지내야 돼. 당연하지요. And they have to have these kinds of perform these kind of shamanistic rituals when they open up their businesses. They have to because of this. 어 구슬 하고 나니까. 좀 해결되는 것 같아. 당연하지요. They perform these shamanistic exorcism, and it seems as though the situation is improving. Of course, why? Because of this. 아니 우리 미국 같더니 미국은 안 그런데요. 미국은 아주 수준 높게 바꿔놨어요. People say, well, you go to America, things are not that way over there. No, not at all. It's a very high level of sophistication we see there. 어고 역할을 누가 했냐? 삼단체가요. And who played the essential role to do that? It was the three organizations. 우리나라에는 조금 수준 낮게 무당들이 만들어내고요. And in our country here in Korea, it's not as highly sophisticated. We see that the shamans are behind this kind of work. 어, 미국, 유럽은 수준 높게 삼단체가 딱 이렇게 작품을 만드는 겁니다. But in regions of the U.S. or in Europe, they've made this their own masterpiece through the work of the three organizations in a very high-level, sophisticated manner. 만들었는데 요게 사단의 함정이라. They made it this way, and yet this Instead, is a trap of Satan. 누구든지 빠집니다. Anyone can fall into that trap. 창세기 3장 나. It's Genesis 3. 다 빠져버려요. Everybody falls into that. 여러분 당장 누가 여러분이 기분 나쁜 소리 해보세요. 기분 나쁘다니까 옳은 말이든 말든 그렇죠. 
then if somebody comes to you and says something very offensive, whether it's right or wrong, you're offended by it. 여러분, 아, 이건 기분 나쁠 일이 아니다. 이 정도 깨달았으면 괜찮은데 기분 나빠져. And you, if you just realize I shouldn't be offended by this, then it'd be fine. But instead, you are offended. 뭐 당장 나에게 이익이 없다. 그러면 다른 행동 하게 되죠. And if you don't receive immediate gratification through profits, then you do something else instead. 아, 나에게 이익이 있겠다. 그럼 막 또. But if you can profit from this, then you race forward into it. 그리고 뭡니까? 난줄 알았는데 요내 비림이 딱 빠지게 되는 거죠. And you thought it was about being me-centered, but instead, this drives you into the nephilim. 여기서 이제 굉장한 것들이 나오기 시작. And from here, very many great things begin to come out. 창세기 육장입니다. That is Genesis 6. 그러면서. 우리 이렇게 나오죠. And us. 그게 우리가 우리의 이름을 내도록 바벨탑을 쌓자. We must come together to make a name for ourselves by raising the Tower of Babel. 어, 교회들도 잘못하면요. 우리가 뭐 우리 교회가 뭐 대단하게 뭘 해야 되지 않겠냐 이렇게 생각하기 쉽죠. And churches also can fall into this fallacy where they think that we ourselves need to make a name for ourselves by building this great church. 그래서 미국이 제일 큰 교회 문 닫은 겁니다. And that's why one of the biggest mega churches in the, in the U.S. closed down. 우리는 이게 함정에 속지 않아야 돼요. We must not be deceived by this trap. 우리가 아니죠. 하나님이 제일 원하시는 것을 하는 교회. It is not about us or we. We seek to become a church that does that which God most desires. 이 생각은 응답하고 관계 없이 이게 결박돼 버린다. And that thought doesn't have 그렇죠. anything to do with answers. What it does is it immediately breaks down the forces of darkness of Satan. 드디어 사람들을 단번에 유혹할 수 있는 큰 신전 우상 막 이런 만들어 버리면 다 따라와요. And pagan temples, great shrines, these idolatrous um, buildings—they completely seize the hearts of man. 막 섞어 있는 거죠. And people are deceived by that. 일본에 다가 보세요. 어마어마한 그 신전, 우선 이런데 사람들이 막 다갑니다. And that, that's the frame in 13, 16, and 19. We see even in Japan these huge temples. People swarm to those places. 아, 유럽 전 세계 막 어마어마한 우상 신전 만들어 놓으면 막 그냥 다 가요. Europe and all throughout the world, these tremendous idolatrous temples and shrines. People all gather and con- 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 congregate there. 뭐 나라가 어떻게 된다 몰라요. And what does that do in turn to the state or to the nation? Nobody knows. And nobody cares. 이제 알지만은 늦은 때가 와요. And the time will come when they become aware of this, but it's already too late. 내 개인이 올무에 딱 걸리는 거예요. Because I myself am completely entrapped within this the snare. 여섯 가지 사단의 올무에 딱 걸립니다. We are completely entrapped by the six snares of Satan. 되게 비참해져 버리게 돼. And you fall into a just humiliating, 자, devastating state. 요때 교회 오는 사람이 많아. And there are a lot of people who come to church at this state because they feel like they're about to die. 와봐도 아무 소용 없습니다. 모르니까. But even if they come, it amounts to nothing because they are not aware of the nature of the Holy Spirit. 그래 교회도 뜨납니다. 뭐 다니봤자 안 되네. 당연히 안 되지. And then they naturally conclude, even if I come to church, it's of no help, and so they just naturally leave the church. 중요합니다. This is important. 어 여러분이 언약만 정확하게 잡아도 응답받습니다. Even if you accurately hold on to the covenant, you will receive answers. 여기에 사단의 안지시요. And this is a work that Satan does. 그래서 하나님이 여러분을 부르셔서 많은 이 주관한 사람들 이 삼칠 나라 오천 종족 살려라 이거. And this is the very reason why God has called each and every one of you to go to people who are dying in the field to the two hundred seventy nations and five thousand tribes. You stand as a witness. A witness of what? 선교해라. Carry out the work of missions. 이겁니다. That's what it is. 그래서 여러분이 여기만 속지 않으면 무조건 응답 와요. So long as you're not deceived by this, absolutely you receive answers. 아, 여러분이 교회가 막 힘든 거 많죠. 전혀 힘안 들어야 돼. 왜냐? 여기 안 속으면요. Right now you go to church, there are so many things that trouble you and ill you, but it should not be that way at all. So long as you're not deceived by this. 보통 목사님들이 고민하는 부분은요. 우리 성도님들, 장로님들이 좀 이상해. 이 걱정 많이 하죠. 
You look at the concerns that many pastors have, and they say, oh, our believers, our, pa- their, our elders, they're so strange. a n d what our elders most worried about, our pastor is so strange. But that has nothing to do with me. There's no need for you to worry. When you think that way, it is at that moment that all of this breaks down. Because we are witnesses. And that's why we will do world missions. And those who understand all of this, for them, they understand that missions itself, it's everything. Why? Because the Nephilim is working, transcending time and space 그렇죠. with the, the trap, the frame, as well as the snare. And that's why if there's just one missionary who understands this, then a tremendous force will arise. w h a t i n g t i And you might ask, what is it that I need 그렇죠? to do? But that will differ at each and every moment and at every turn. However, it's just more, more important that you, one person who knows this, is there. That's what you need to understand. And a person who understood these words came out. A person who understood the background of this age, why things are the way they are, arose. 그 사람이 노아입니다. And that person was Noah. 어, 이 사단이 가장 먼저 노아 시대 때 가정과 후대를 무너뜨리잖아요. And in that age of Noah, the very first thing that Satan attempts to break down is the family and the posterity. 그리고 이 땅에 그 네피림이 큰 용사로 이렇게 나타나 거죠. And the Nephilim appear like a great and vast warrior in that age. 그러다 보니까 세상의 모든 것이 나중에는 악한 그런 계획으로 나오는 겁니다. And as a result of that, everything that comes out from that has no choice but to be vile and wicked. 이걸 보고 하나님이 탄식하셨다 이랬어요. And seeing this, it records that God lamented. 이게 노아 시대 배경입니다. And this was the background of Noah's age. 그래서 뭐 어쩔 수 없죠. 여러분이 결혼할 때 청년들은 알고 계셔야 됩니다. And that's why there's no choice in the matter. When you get married, before you get married, you need to be aware of this. 내 배우자가 이 배경 속에서 살았고 또 살고 있다니까요. My spouse to be or my spouse was living in this background of the Nephilim or is still living within that. 그러고 이거밖에 모르고 살아요. And they live their life only knowing this. 맞나? Me. 우리. Us. 성공. Success. 맞잖아요. And it's true. 그래 살고 있기 때문에 어려움이 와도 탄식할 거 없어요. 아 어떻게 왔구나 하는 걸 알면 됩니다. And because they continue to live their life that way, when hardships come, you just need to understand what naturally should come has come. 이 노아가 잡은 언약만 잡으면 됩니다. Just simply hold on to the covenant that this Noah held on to. 간단하게 말해서 노아는 하나님의 은혜를 입었다라고 돼요. Simply put, it records that Noah was clothed with the grace of God. 무슨 말입니까? What does that mean? 여러분이 이 사실을 알고 있다는 자체가 은혜를 입은 거예요. The fact that you are aware 그렇죠? of this itself is evidence enough that you have been clothed with God's grace. 그래서 우리가 잘못이 하나도 없단 말이 아니고 하나님의 이 은혜를 알고 누리고 전하는 의인인 거예요. And that's why it's not that we have not erred or that we have no sin. It's that He considers us as righteous. He deems us as such because we know this. 그 신학적 용어에 칭의, 칭의라는 말이 있습니다. And so there is a theological word. 이 말이 무슨 말인가 하니까 의가 있어서 의인이 아니고 하나님이 의인으로 부르셨다는 거예요. An expression and phrase which means that we are not righteous, not at all, but He deems us as righteous. He has decreed us as being righteous. 우리가 큰 뭐가 있어 구원받은 게 아니고 구원받은 사람으로 하나님이 부르셨다는 거예요. We have not received our salvation by our merit. It's simply that God has called us into that salvation. 이유는 간단해요. 
살려야 되니까. And the reason for that is simple. Why? Because he had to save us. 그래서 하나님과 동행한 이 했기 때문에 당대의 완전한 자라 이렇게 표현했어요. And it even says about Noah that because he walked with God, he was complete in that age. 그 이유는 하나님과 함께했다. That he was blameless in his generation. Why? Because he was with God. 여러분이 부족하지만은 하나님이 함께하신다면 완벽한 이 능력을 증거할 수 있는 겁니다. We are lacking and insufficient in many ways, but if we are with God, then we can enjoy and experience this. 낙심하지 마시고 여러분이 하나님과 함께하신다면 여러분 가문을 살릴 수 있어요. So do, do not be dismayed. So long as you are with God, you can save your family line. 쉽게 말하면 이번 선교 주제대로. Just like uh, this recent World Missions Conference theme, we are those who remain. And if you know this, then answers will continue to follow those who remained. Those who will, who will remain. And those who will leave behind. That's the kind of answers this will follow. And that's why God has given to us a very important mission. 뭐라고 했습니까? What did he say? 너를 위하여 방주를 만들어. He says to build an ark for yourself. 하나님을 위하여라고 보이지만 사실은 너를 위하여. It may appear as though we're building it for God, but not at all. It's for ourselves. 오늘 우리가 모여서 예배드리는 것은 하나님을 위해서 예배하는 것처럼 보이는데 사실은 우리를 위하여. Today we have gathered here in worship. It appears as though we are giving this worship for God, but actually it's for ourselves. 네 자손을 위하여. And it also says for your children. 생명을 보존하고 증거하기 위하여. And for all life and all creation on earth to preserve them. 에 방주를 만들어라 이렇게. And for that you must build the ark, he says. 굉장히 중요한 얘기입니다. These are very important words. 그래서 이 모든 결론이 어디서 나왔습니까? And what conclusion does this result in? 우리는 할수 없기 때문에 할 수가 없어요, 사실은. And in fact, we can do nothing. 그래서 하나님이 약속하셨는데 갈보리 산에서 모든 흑암 세력이 건설 끝낸 겁니다. That's why God has given us His promise. On Mount Calvary, He completely broke down all the powers of Satan. And this is the conclusion we arrive at. 예, 여러분 하나님 부르셔서 감남산에서 중요한 미션을 준 겁니다. God has called us on the Mount of Olives. He gave a very important mission. 어 걱정 안 하셔도 돼요. There's no need for you to worry. 이거 주겠다고 했습니다. Why? Because God has promised to you the kingdom. 여러분이 기다린단 말은 요거 기다리는 거예요. And what are we waiting for? We wait for God's kingdom. 낙심하지 말아만 이 이것 때문에 낙심을 하는 거예요. And God tells us not to be discouraged. Why not? Because we are waiting for the kingdom. 어 여러분이 하고 있는 걱정 전혀 안 하셔도 됩니다. All the concerns that consume you, there's no need for it at all. 뭐 사도랑 메사 아벤노처럼 어뭐 혹시 뭐 죽는다 그럼 죽겠습니다. 뭐 이런 나온들은 할말 없어요. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're faced with the threat of death, and they said, even if we die, it's all right. And if you're like that, if you make that kind of confession, you're unstoppable. The world, the church, yourself, it will never go according to the way that you plan or you intend. It only follows the plans of God. No matter how distinguished or renowned the individual, if God calls their life, they must go. And in Mark's room, their God bestowed a tremendous strength, and He also revealed to them the method by which they could do world evangelization. And that's what we enjoy. 굉장히 좋은 집안에서 자랐고 참 똑똑한 분이에요. There was a very smart person who was born into a very good family background. 왜 우리가 보는 순간에 아이 사람 참 괜찮은 사람이다 이렇게 느끼질 정도예요. To the point where you look at that person and from the first moment you see them, you think, oh, this person is a very good person. 
직장도 좋아요. And they even had a very good career. 어, 직장 안에서도 인기 이거예요. And even in their workplace, they were very popular. 뭐 멋있고 일자라고. Because he was very classy, he also carried out his work very well. 딱 하나가 문제예요. He just had one flaw. 신앙생활에 재미가 없는 거예요. He just didn't find um, his walk of faith appealing. 아니 뭐 신앙생활 잘안 해도 이 사람 뭐 능력 있어요. And he's capable, even if he doesn't live his walk of faith. 거기 사람은 또. 직장 가면 인기 있어요. 불신자 인기 있어요. 그죠? And when he goes to his workplace, he's very popular even <웃음> amongst the unbelievers. 이 사람이 없으면 안 돼. 교회 올 시간이 없으면 왜냐면 일요일 날 무슨 행사하면 가야 돼요. And he's indispensable. If there's something that happens at his workplace on, on the weekend, he can't come to church because he's such an important worker there. 그때 내가 보기엔 이 사람이 믿음이 없는 건 아니요 보니까. And the way that I see it, I don't think that this person lacks faith. 믿음이 보니까 있어요. This person has faith. 아버지 때부터 벌써 뭐 고위에 선조 때부터 믿은 사람이요. From his father's generation, from his even before that, beyond that, there's a family line of faith. 근데 이런 부분이 자기하고 안 맞는 거예요. But he just thinks that these things don't fit with him. 뭐 그래도 잘살수 있습니다. Even with, without that, he can live a, a good life. 어느 날 자기 집은 2층인가 3층 이런데. 그래서 이 사람이 이제 올라가는데 올라가다가 딱 쓰러졌어요. And he happened to live on the second or third floor of this building and as he was walking up the stairs to his home he all of a sudden collapsed. 뭐, 그 가족들의 얘기입니다. 늘 건강했는데 아무 이상 없었는데 올라오다가 쓰러졌대. And this is what his family members told me. There was nothing wrong with his health, no other ailments, but he was just walking up the stairs and he just happened to collapse. 어, 그 길로 이제 병원으로 실려간 겁니다. And immediately he was then transported to the hospital. 네, 물론 직장 더 이상 다닐 수 없습니다. Of course he could no longer go to work. 네, 물론 어, 이제 자기가 많은 활동하던 거할수 없게 됐어. And all the many different activities that he was undertaking, he had to stop all of it. 근데 보니까 뭐 쉬운 얘기인데 들어보니까 이 콩팥이 다 상한 거예요. And so it's, it can happen to anybody, but his kidney, something was wrong with it. And it was something that he was not aware 뭐, of before because he thought he was very healthy. 그 because of that ailment in his kidneys, he had to stop everything he had been doing until that point. He was a very per- good person. Very respectable person. So whenever I had the time, I would go when I was evangelizing, and I would stop by. 그때 내가 이분의 눈을 보면서요 다른 걸 느꼈어요. And at that time, I looked into his eyes, and I I saw that there was something different there. 이 사람이 전에 가졌던 눈이 아니에요. It was not the kind of gleam in his eyes that I had seen before. 어 완전히 이제 다른 건데. 뭔가 딱 매달리는 이런 눈. He had a completely different set of eyes, and inside his eyes, I read into it that he was just desperately holding on to something. 뭐 그때만 해도 제가 이런 말, 이 많은 원리들 잘 몰랐어요. 그냥 뭐 예수 믿고 기도하면 된다 이런 식으로 했지 정확하게 말을 잘 못한 것도 있어요. And so, of course, at that time, I didn't have all of this content organized inside of myself. All I could say to him was just believe in Jesus and pray. 그러나 뭐 우리가 이제 느끼는 건 있잖아요. But there's some, still something that you can garner, something that you can gain from that experience. 어느 날 갔는데 이 사람 이제 눈을 보니까요 포기했어요. And then the next time I went to see him again, I looked into his eyes and I could read in his eyes that he had completely given up. 아 전에까지만 해도 눈이 굉장히 그 뭔가를 붙잡을 했거든요. 그런데 이번에는 가 보니까. Up until the very last meeting that I had with him prior to that day, it seemed as though he was desperately trying to cling on to something, trying to survive. But that day that when I saw him, he had given up. And before he passed away, I was able to see him, and he said something very important to me that time. 그때 제가 전도사 때인데 날 보고요, 전도사님 감사합니다 이러는 거요. It was when I was an assistant pastor. He said to me, "Assistant pastor, thank you." 그러면서 어 내가 하나님의 자녀 된거 감사합니다 이러더라고요. And he said, "I thank I thank you because I've become a child of God." 
야, 참. 제일 처음 나와야 될 단어가 제일 마지막 나온 거예요. And I thought to myself, what he ought 그쵸? to have said very first, the first thing he should have said, it was the last words he spoke. 이분이 건강하게 달릴 때그 단어가 나왔어야 되는 거예요. He should have been able to speak those words when he was healthy. 제일 마지막에 이제 걸음도 못 걷는데 하나님의 자녀가 된거 감사하다는 거예요. But at the end of his life, when he can no longer even move about, now he's confessing, I'm, I'm so thankful that I've become a child of God. 그렇습니다. That's, that's how it is. 예, 손붙잡고 기도했어요. And I held on to his hand and I prayed. 어, 이틀 후에 소천하셨어요. And two days later, he passed away. 야, 우리가 이렇게 다, 다 저렇게 다 살다가 가는 거구나. I thought to myself, this is how each and every one of us live our lives. 그거는 아닙니다. That's not how it ought to be. 그리스도 없는 모든 사람은 성교의 대상이요. All people who don't have Christ are all the objects of our work of missions. 그리스도 있는 모든 사람은 성교사다. And all people who have Christ are missionaries. 딕 힐릭스라는 사람이 그 말했어요. And this is what Dick Helix said. 빨리 깨달아야 되는 거죠. We need to realize this early on, though. 어, 여러분 지금 깨달았으니까. 여러분에게는 굉장한 시간표가 남은 거죠. Because you've realized this now, a tremendous time schedule will open before you. 노아를 미쳤다고 했는데 노아에게 이 응답 왔어요. People thought Noah insane, but this is the answer that followed for Noah. 네, 노아 사건은 많은 과학자들도 연구를 많이 하는 사건입니다. And the incident of Noah is that even scientists continue to research. 아, 여러분에게 오늘도 새로운 시작이 반드시 일어나는 축복의 날이 되기를 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. I bless you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that today may be a day in which we have a completely new beginning. 하나님께 감사드립니다. God, we thank you. 오늘 새 은혜를 받게 없어서. May you give to us new grace today. 새 힘을 얻게 해 주옵소서. May we gain new strength. 참된 응답을 보게 해 주옵소서. And may we see your true answers. 참된 삶을 사는 하나님의 놀라운 영광이 드러나게 하옵소서. And may your amazing glory be manifested and revealed through the true life that we lead. 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.